What's going on everybody? It's your guy Golden Cash and I am back. Just actually got back from the bank. Stopped by my normal pickup bank and grabbed a box of half dollars to finish up the four box hunt and fill series. Uh, and then I grabbed a box of quarters. When I opened up the quarters, it came in this box right here. They were uncirculated, all Wilma Man Killers, which I ended up snagging two rolls out of there. But I'll tell you the story of what we did. I got one roll of Sally Rides, and I got one roll of Wilma Man Killer, the entire rolls right there. So I got these, and I was like, well, I can't get anything out of these. I'm not going to search for errors or anything. So I stopped by another bank, and I walked in. I said, hey, I, I got some uncirculated quarters. If you could trade me out for a box of circulated, that would be nice. And they jumped on it because they've never seen. They actually told me they've never seen the new quarters. So now I've got, when I took those rolls out, I got one Maya Angelou, one Sally Ride, and one Wil Wilma Mankiller. So I got three rolls that I'm going to keep. And they traded me some customer wrap rolls and some regular rolls like that right there. So we're going to go ahead and go through these and see if we can find any errors, varieties, or anything like that. But that is the backstory to this box. Let's go ahead and get into this box. But first, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I keep reading hunts just like this one right here. Let's go ahead and get into one of the custom wrapped rolls. Roll number one, and I'll bring you back on our first find. Roll number two is going to give us a pretty cool find. It is the Kansas State Philadelphia. But when we flip it over and put in God we trust, it is not. It's going to be in God we we rust so there we go we got an in god we rust coin this is our first find right there roll number seven is going to give us two errors and i checked both of these already we have the homestead with the snowy roof you can actually see it right there on top of the roof so we're going to have the snowy roof on that one and then i will show you the second error it is going to be on the wing, and I don't... Oh, you, yeah, you can see it right there in the split of the wing right there where my thumb was. The error there. So let's show it on the scope so you guys can see right there. Let me get this focused in. There we go. And I will point it out right now. It is this wing right there. That little bitty cut coming out. That is the error for the Rhode Island, Block Island. See it there? All right, I'll bring you back if we find anything else. Just finished with roll 21, and we are going to have the 2021 crossing the Delaware. And I found a double die. This is the first one I've ever seen. I don't know if it is a double die, but you can see right there in the front of his... Uh, hat right here and on his face that we are going to have doubling on this right here if anybody knows what that is please let me know it's the first time I've seen it on one of these coins so comment down below and let me know what you think this is it's definitely different it doesn't look like uh, machine doubling but I don't know you can see the box end of it right down there at the bottom Comment down below, let me know what you think. Roll number 27 is going to give us another find. It is the Homestead, and you can already see the snowy roof on this one. And we also have the other one right here, right next to it. So you can see the two errors. You'll have one right there, and then you'll have the other one is going to be right there. This is the Snowy Roof Homestead Quarter Dollar. Roll 32 is going to end our customer wrapped rolls. We're fixing to get into some bank rolls, but we found this weird coin right here. It says Manichi Kus. I'm not sure exactly. Looks like a Korean coin, maybe? Thailand coin? It sounds. Almost like silver. 
So I have no idea if it is silver. I'm going to look more into this coin. And I will bring you back at the end of the wrap up and let you know. Roll 48, and I just popped this open right here, and I pulled this back, and I don't know if you can see it right here. I think we might have a silver right there. This is going to be our first silver of the year if it is silver. Let's go ahead and pop this out. I'm hoping if I can get it with one hand. Come on, open up. I hope the silver. We've had these plated quarters that I've been pulling out of these rolls. Come on. I think this is silver. It is. We have our first silver of the year right here. There it is. A 1952. Out of Philadelphia. There we go. Our first silver of the year is a 1952. That is awesome. All right. I'm going to go ahead and search through these rolls. We have two rolls left. And hopefully we can find another one. I doubt it's going to happen, but I'm going to keep searching. And maybe we'll find some more errors. All right. I'll bring you back on our next find. And that is the end of this quarter hunt. We didn't have very many. A lot of these rolls were <laughs> uncirculated. I was actually surprised. The uh, customer-wrapped rolls, there was a lot of uncirculated coins, the brand-new 2022s. But we did find this. This is a Japanese coin. I am not sure if it is silver or not, but I tried to find it on Google, and I could not find anything about it. So, but I do know it is a 10 yen, or a 100 yen, a 10 yen. I am not 100% sure. If anybody knows what this is, go ahead and comment down below. But we did find a 1952 silver quarter. That is freaking awesome. So we did find silver in these rolls. I am glad I switched them out now. We found a few varieties and errors, a few uh, bicentennials. I keep all the bicentennials. I have roll after roll after roll of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. One day, maybe they'll be worth something. And we found a couple of the Rhode Island bird. It's got the error on the, the wing right there. We found a couple snow on the roofs. And uh, I'll let y'all see those. Found a couple of the uh, Washington Cross in Delaware, dyed chips on the hat. And we found a couple of Puerto Rico chips, uh, hot springs that I'm going to keep. But that is it. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I keep bringing you hunts just like this one right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.